Yeah, absolutely. All right, so. All right, welcome to the Michael and Son Sportsplex for Nova Roller Derby Supernova's last bout of the WIFTA home season. Nova Roller Derby's fifth season continues with Nova Supernova's two wins and one loss so far in the midst of their second year playing the WIFTA rule set and their first year in the WIFTA apprenticeship program. Despite playing an excellent game last month, the Supernovas suffered their first loss against a solid team from Southern Delaware. Today they face off against the York City Derby Dames. Will the Supernovas make a comeback and take the win at their last bout here at home? Let's get ready for some intense roller derby action. And now we would invite you all to stand for the National for like 12 years, Aww. and that just made me so happy. Yay. That made me so happy, I love it. All right, let's get things going. Are you ready? You not, just, not ready enough. No, no, we, I, yeah, we need to wait a, a minute for people to prepare themselves. Are you ready? Slightly, slightly better. Slightly better. Slightly better. Slightly better. I'm just sort of willing to accept that they're ready enough. So, let's meet the teams. First, let's introduce the ladies of York City Derby Games. Number 10, Clutch. Number 11, Ratchet. Number 13, Ruby Record. Number 17, Reaping Beauty. Number 222, Paradox. Number 242, Brazen Beauty. Booty. Brazen Beauty. Yeah, you better say that name right. Number 27, Slamming Time. Number 47, Kitty Whips. Number 5 of the 4, French Thwarter. Number 66, Necrotic Neurotic. I can say that, but not Brazen Booty. Yeah. Number 79, All Shucks. Number 812, Toxic Sugar. Number 907, Lizzie Stardust. Number 96, Just Kendra. Just Kendra. Number 52, Mira Venomous. Let's give it up for the York City Derby Days. And now let's meet Nova Roller Derby Supernova. Number 11, River Strong. Number 16. 
16, Captain Ice T. Number 19, 28, Surly Temper. Number 23, Loose Wheel Brawl. Number 244, Fox. Number 287, Doris Meanway. Number 289, Fort Knox Fox. Number 5360, Savage Dragon. Number 85, Jersey Jill. Number 615, Wicked Bruza. Number 713, Bayou City Bad. Coaching staff, Bucking and Bucking Slam Dallas, and Slam of the Lady. Next, we'd like to give a big hand for our refs and non-season officials to the people who keep the game safe, keep moving, and make all of the hard calls. I don't know about you, but I think we should definitely get the game started. I'm super excited to see this matchup, our last blow bout of the season. It's very exciting. The last one, while a great bout, it was a hard-fought game. Oh. It was very disappointing, but still but played well incredibly played. well. And we're hoping to win this one. Uh, no roller to the pick this win. Because we're fuck you. And, and we're totally biased. And we're playing favorites. Which we really shouldn't do as announcers, but. We're playing favorites. I'm super excited to see French Porter playing today. Yes. I've been watching her play for a few years now. She's fantastic. So I'm excited to see her play for New York City. It should be definitely a good bout. Right now we've got Ice Tees and Reaping Beauty on the jam. We're going to start the first jam. Off we go with Reaping Beauty trying to wiggle her way through the pack, and T's trying to shirt and tank her way through, which is always a fun matchup to watch. Fantastic. If anybody can do it, she can. Definitely. And there's Reaping Beauty out. And we can't. And maybe going to the box, maybe not. Not going to the box. Slightly confusing. Right? Jammer T's going to the box. There we go. Which makes this power jam for York. And Four Knox Fox not going to let her have that exit easy. Not at all. She's going to have to break through Supernova's yeah. defense. York's Open Paradox up. pivot headed for Fox. Paradox in the box. Reaping yeah. Beauty has made a scoring pass now. Maybe two. Oh, I'm louder now. Here comes Beauty for another pass through the pack. Trying to get through a wall of supernovas. It is a pretty solid wall. Beauty's doing a wonderful job staying inside the track. And here comes Tease making her pass through. She's running into a whole lot of resistance though, but gets a hand from River Strong and gets a path through. There we go, finally out. Looks like we have a full on both teams. As Reaping Beauty calls it off. And it looks like that puts us uh, to about 14 points during that jam. And this jam is going to be brought to you by Van Cor Corrective Chiropractic, located in one lab. It can assist you with all of your chiropractic needs. Mention no to roller derby and get $50 off your first visit. We have just Kendra for York and uh, Jersey Jill for Nova lining up on the jammer line here. And Jill scoots right up the inside line and out before the first turn. Short work for that crowd. That was beautiful. Now she's got a wall of pink to try and get through on her scoring pass. Just Kendra also coming around for her scoring pass. And Jill calls it. Looks like she picked up four for Supernova. And none for York. That is, sometimes that one and done pass is the way to do it. You know, get through, get your points, and call it before anyone else can get Agreed. Sometimes that is the best strategy. All right, we've got Fox sitting on the camera line along with... Kitty Wits for York. And 
they are off. Fox trying to take the outside to get shoved right on out of bounds, but she is fighting her way to the front. While Kitty Whip is still a little jammed up at the back, but then she goes right through and she's out, and Fox is stuck in the back. That was a quick reversal of Colgan's. Fox is looking for a way out. Oh, and she's finally got it. There she goes. They're trying to keep Kitty locked down there. And she calls it, unfortunately, before Fox can get up there and get any points. Looks like three was picked up for York City. And none for Nova. Just a reminder, today we're giving away a 50-50 split of the raffle proceeds. We are doing a raffle today. Uh, and other great prizes. Good luck. It's only $1 for one ticket, seven tickets for five, and ten for an honor's flight. Don't forget to get your tickets. The Raffle Ticket Girls will be making their way through the crowd. The winner will be drawn at halftime, so make sure you get your tickets now. Did I say that fast enough? I think so. Okay. Yes, because here goes the jam. Jersey Jill out quickly again. But she's got the York City Jammer right on her tail. That's Ratchet. Yes, Ratchet for York City. Thanks. Zero, zero jam. She called it off before she tried to make it through the crowd. I'm, I'm getting the sense that uh, Jersey Jill likes to call it quick. She's, she's big into that point denial thing, yeah, which a, I'm all about. I like it. Really good strategy. Looks like we've got just Kendra and the Wicked Bruiser on the jam line. Jammer taking out a jammer, first thing. Wicked Bruiser went down quick. It's never fun. Right off the line. Always good They're for a knockdown. They're both having to beginning. find their way through the back pack, though. But it looks like Wicked's got a whole lot of pink to try and get through. There we go. And there is the York City Jammer headed for the box, which makes this a power jam for Nova. Wicked Bruiser was knocked out. He's to move to the back. Trying to make another pass. This is the best opportunity she's going to get while she does, her team does not have the other jammer to worry about. Really strong, making some space there at the front. That there was she goes. Lovely. She's just like scooting people off. Just like it's nothing. Scoot, scoot. Here comes Wicked. Trying to break through that wall again. That's a massive wall of pain. Right. And Wicked calls it just as they're about to have a jam. And it looks like five picked up for Supernovas. And it looks like we got Fox and Kitty Whipped on the jammer line for this one. <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> you, you know just what? Got it. I just got it. Now the fact that you got it. Both of them running back and forth, looking for their way out. And Kitty almost had hers, but then she ended up with I think that's Jersey Jill in her lap. Aaron Fox breaks out, taking the jam position. Kitty whipped his knockdown, has to be moved to the back. Fox has fought her way through on a scoring pass. Uh, York City's pivot, Paradox, headed for the box again. Paradox in the box for the second time already. It's a Paradox's box. It's kind of like Pandora's oh, box. Oh, ouch. Box that was a righteous hit from one of those girls on York City. I can't see well enough to tell who's who yet. Trying to fight her way through, and Fox is through again. Light working the pack. Kitty Whip finally making it through. Oh, nice skating by Fox there. She calls it off before Kitty can reach the pack. Simple, simple work for her. Swoop 
I still can't believe it's that girl's first season. Like, that blows my freaking mind. That, that's, that's amazing for, for me to yeah. see. I mean, that's like some sports movie crap right there. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we're at uh, York City 17, uh, Supernova's 23 at 21.52 left in this jam, in this, uh, period? Yeah, period. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Or you could call it a half, I suppose. A half? No, yeah, that's half. Yeah, half's yeah. good. We got Tease and... Beauty. Yes, Reef and Beauty. And Tease is out right at turn two, but Beauty not far behind her. And somebody's cleaning the house up there. Big hit taken. Lots and lots of hits happening in this... Which is always fun. More I hits, like a heavy hitting game. More hits the better. Just means they're also taking it more seriously. Well, not necessarily. I mean, there's, there's well, yes, all well, yeah. kinds of very fine positional blocking that happens. But I think we can all agree to see people get knocked on their butt is fun. Well, that's why people watch NASCAR. Most people I watch anything to see people get knocked out and on the ground, laid out. That's why I watch anything. <laughs> but I'm simple. I'm entertained usually. All right, Nova's Jammer is out and gone, but with York's Jammer right behind her. Let's see, that's Sterling Timber for Nova. It looks like it's just Timber. And called off. Looks like only one picked up for York City. And none for Nova. That was, that was quite a little scrap in there. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right, we've got Fox and... And Kenny Whip, I believe that is. And uh, this jam is going to be brought to you by Ashburn Pub. Ashburn Pub is a great place to have lunch or have a drink. And we are lucky enough to host several fundraisers and guest bartending events there. And they are off. up for York City. I know with May rules, it's the, uh, if you look, you can see the referees look staring at the skater's feet because yeah, that's jam, what scores the point. Yeah, jam reps and May are usually looking at feet, jam reps and look there are going to be looking at hips. That, that I did not know. Now you do. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! Oh, shucks. Thank you. 
We're trying. And York's jammer is out and going. She's a speedy one, huh? Absolutely. The pop is back out now. She's definitely the one to pay attention to. Cut track again. Yeah, cut track again. It, it was looking so good, and then how it's always rough. And now Lucy is heading for the box, and the jam is over. I have no idea what's going Does on. Does that constitute if both jammers are gone? The jam is over. No, no, that's not how that works. I think one jammer goes out, another jammer comes in. All right, it looks like we got a time out for York City. This time out's going to be brought to you by what my favorite place to go, Best Rack Around. I am wearing a bra from there at this very moment. As am I, and many other things. It's a boutique in Leesburg who can help you find the best fitting bra for your body type. Check out their table here at the bow. And uh, Hess Plastic Surgery, located in Fairfax, is committed to learning about and Learning about you and your goals, answering your questions, and discussing the best ways to achieve what you desire. I'll need to go there to get better fits for the bras that I want at Best Rack Around. If you have a particular bra that you want to fit in, I guess that would be the Well, I mean, just... I just want my insides to feel like, you know, my outsides to look like... look as pretty as you feel. Yeah, exactly. Because sometimes I feel so pretty. Pretty... We are getting back on the track, but the time appears to still be out. The refs are doing their timeout dance. Always one of my favorites. Looks like we're still at the timeout. Yeah, this one always seems very aggressive to me. Well, oh, you better move, you better dance. Like, look, Kesha. I mean, you need to watch out with that star with the dollar sign on your face. Or star, whatever. She's trying to be jammed for some reason. It's weird. I think she needs to stop. It's outrageous. She just got totally, totally outrageous. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. I messed that up. I'm it's all right. You were not um, a 10-year-old girl in 1992. No, but I was um, nine. And I did watch Jim. Yeah, it was awesome. Jim was pretty awesome. Although the Misfits had better songs. Then, yeah, they were, yeah. For like sure. almost always. Always. But then again, I was more still Transformers, G.I. Joe. All the Ghostbusters. Oh, 100% Ghostbusters. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Thundercats. Thunder! 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 Thundercats! Oh! oh. There's nothing but a geek squad over here. We do nothing but enjoy nerdy things. All right, we are ready to go again. And it looks like we're starting off no with no jammers. jammers. Right, so everybody just get ready. <laughs> Hold on. This is, this Hang is, on, things are going to happen. This is kind of odd for me to see. But we are, so we, we now have a jammer from New York City. And, and now it. we have a jammer from Nova. Loose wheel brawl. All right, we have jammers now. That's there we good. go. That was that now. Was now it's roller derby again. Okay. All right, and Ice Keys is out with the star pass. Now there's another one of your main and lifted differences for yes. you that she actually has to take the helmet cover with the star on it. Because oh. as a pivot, general with main rules, the pivot, the pivot can take the position. Right. It, it made the, the star pass just happen. Not actually on your head. Okay, all right. Got Where it. you have to actually do the helmet cover. Physically happen. And there goes Tease with the fake out and the charge. Oh, the wow. She took care yeah. of that defense that with beautiful. no problem. So beautiful. Love it. And there she is. Going out, but finding her way back in. Trying to get through that wall one more time. Through. That's always fun. And there's not much more tiring than playing as a whip jammer trying to just shove your way through a pack. Like I that. can imagine that that is extremely exhausting. But there she is. She has made it through again. And there's a ratchet goes out on the inside. 
is always a funny thing to happen. Sees coming back through for another pass. Looking for a way through, trying to make a way through, more like. Ratchet. Awesome. That is Paul. Five picked up for Supernova. And I think, uh, she made one Yeah, that was way more than five. Yeah. We'll just give you the, the score right now. York City is at 20, Nova 52 with 14, oh, with 14 minutes left in the half. All we right. have just Still Kendra. playing a pretty tight game. Absolutely. Strong has made it through the pack and she is going. And looks like York City's 
Jammer is ahead of the box, making this a power jam for Nova. And speaking of people with the Panzer tank approach to jamming, River has got that on lock. Absolutely. She's just moving people out of the way. Like, oh, there's not a space here? Let me put one. She's a massive Titanic going through water. stuff happening here. Jersey Jill, once again, out right at turn one. And she is slippery. Nova's pivot headed for the box. And it looks like York City's jammers come back in. And Jill has called it. Another nil nil jam. Seems to be. All right, it looks like we've got Ice Teas and Just Kendra on the jam line. This one's going to be brought to you by Mel Gourmet Cheeseburgers in Leesburg, voted best burger in Loudoun County. Five years in a row. Head down to East Market Street and enjoy a handcrafted milk in your mouth burger. Just Kendra looking for a way out as Ice Tease does the same further back. As Kendra took a hit there. Ice Tease almost. Oh! There we go. Ice Tease breaks through the pack. And got hit but kept going, which is great. I love just, seeing that. Just Kendra close behind. And catching up quickly. And Tease calls it for any points he scored. And we've got one more sponsor that we failed to mention earlier because it's a brand new one, a brand Nerium new one. International. Uh, Nerium offers uh, skincare products uh, with age-defying ingredients that you can't find anywhere else, leading to unprecedented results. You can head over to their table, to, and they have a raffle of their own going on. Ooh. I believe they're down there by the merch table. All right, that's Kitty Whipton Fox is jamming for this one. Fox was knocked out and she's moving back. Kitty was having a hard time getting through that defense. Fox and Kitty are both uh, out, and Kitty is the jammer, despite the fact that she is behind Fox at the moment, because Fox did not get out clean. Okay. So if the jammer gets hit, on the way out, it is not clean, and therefore can't be lead jammer. Um, so I'm not seeing clear on that one. I know that you, you cannot commit a penalty, um, including ones that don't necessarily send you to the box. Okay, all right, that makes sense. Because there are some penalties that are the, like, no harm, no foul type. Yes. Um, but even if you do one of those, then you still are ineligible to okay. be lead jammer. Okay, all right. Again, another difference with me. Called off. Two picked up for Supernovas and three picked up for York City. All right, we've got Ice T's in Reaping Beauty for the Jammers on this one. Nova taking the back line with York City lining up in front of them. There are all sorts of interesting strategic plans you can make whether you've got the back line or you are in front of the line. And right now, Nova making excellent use of the back line by just lining up on top of the girl and not letting her go anywhere. There's completely different strategies for each goal set. Yes, that is absolutely true. Well, we so got is taken out. Ice T's close behind. Reaping Beauty has lead. 
but they are oh, both big scoring big, points. Big hit, calling it off. But well, we have points scored on both sides. Looks like three and three. Three across the board on that one. Yeah, that's one of those roller derby quirks that a lot of times people don't realize early on that even if you are not lead jammer, you can still score points. Yes. Both jammers scoring Both points jammers all the time. Score points. Only lead jammer has the ability to call off the jam. Yes. Looks like that we got Surly Temper and Jess Kendra. I think it's the one of the greatest names ever. That is pretty fantastic. Jess Kendra. And Jess Kendra is just out of that now with both a Nova skater and a York skater headed for the box. Surly Temper has made it out of the pack for Nova. Got people falling all over the place in the back. And Jess Kendra calling it off. As another York City skater heads for the box. Looks like four picked up for York City. Right. The box we, is a popular place to be, this jab. It's 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 the sin bin, and it's the place to be. Absolutely, it's where it's at. It's where all the cool people go, really. I mean, which is why I'm sitting over here. Having been a penalty heavy player myself once yes. upon a time, I'm going to have to say yes. That's where the cool people are. It's where the fun people are. Looks like we've got Fox and Kitty Whip. And Fox is out, out of the pack making her way around the track while the uh, while Nova tries to make sure she's got room to work with for getting through again. And that there she is. Light work with that pack. A good, very good neat little done. scoring pass there. That's that's the reason you don't want to go to the box. Because yeah. then you your team is having to work with less. And it looks like we are just about four. Nice hit from River Strong. We are full as it's called off. Everybody came back just in time for the jam to be over. Well, that's how things should go, really. Yeah, no. You don't want to stop what went out there. Right. All right, we are York City 41, Nova 88, and just under two minutes left in this half. Which means this could be the last jam. Yes, it could be. It's, it's possible that this is the last jam of this uh, of this half. half. Potentially. We shall see. Jersey Jill. And Jess Kendra jammers for this one. As Jersey Jill is looking for her way out of the front and the pack is spreading out. Jersey Jill is out and lead jammer. Loose Wheel Brawl trying to stay on just Kendra, but runs out of time because you cannot hit people out of play. Get too far forward and then there is no more hitting for you. And Jersey Jill calling it off, picking up four for the Supernovas, nil for York City. Nicely done. Looks like we are going to have one more jam. Huh? One more jam because we are just about under a minute left in this half. And we've got Ice Tease and Reaping Beauty on the jammer line for this one. Here we go. And they are off. T's looking for her way up the inside. Kind of using River Strong as a wrecking ball for herself, which was remarkably effective. Just cleared out some room. And Reaping Beauty has found her way out now as well. Both teams looking for their people. Tease is a boarded apex jump there, and Reaping Beauty calls it. All right, looks like two. We're going to line up one more time. No, I believe that is the whistle for the half, yeah? Is it? Maybe. I kind of looks like it. I think that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah that's it looks the whistle like for the half. That's it for the half. That's the whistle for the half. But don't go too far away because. I'm ready for the second half. Totally ready for the second half. Excited about the second half. All right, 
Okay, here we go. We have Fort Knox Fox and Joseph Cantero lining up on the jammer line. And both of them out very, very quickly. Fort Knox Fox in front, but she's got Just Kendra right on her, and she has called it off. Just not, not feeling like fighting that fight. Fair. Sometimes that's the best choice. Well, and it looks like she had uh, mostly pink at the back, which, you know, she gets hung up and can't keep track of where the other jammer is. Exactly. Points. You don't want that. Sometimes it's better to just let it go. All right, we've got Kitty whipped in. Drew Jill is jammers for this one. They are off. Both of them shoving back and forth, looking for space. Lots of lateral movement there. And that is just Kendra out very quickly, but Jersey Jill not far behind her. Nova up front, which means that Jill's got her people to score on. Griff nice. having a hard time breaking through that wall of blue. Just as the same with Jersey Jill breaking through that paint. What a good dodge Jersey Jill breaks through. And we have a York City player headed for the box. And it looks like Whip called it off and it was Seems like it was 4-4 four, four all around. Wicked Bruza and Reaping Beauty uh, on the camera line this time. Just a quick note, we are also very pleased to welcome members of the Befriend a Child Mentoring Program to today's bow. Research has shown that having just one positive adult in a child's life can make all the difference whether they go to be a, grow to be a healthy, productive member of society. The Be a Friend, the Befriend a Child Mentoring Program matches adult volunteers with children between the ages of 5 and 12 who are in need of a positive adult influence in their life. Through the mentoring re relationship, mentees become more confident and gain skills they need to become healthy and successful members of our program. Please feel free to stop by the table and learn more about this wonderful program. We got Jersey Jill and Jess Petra on the channel line for this one. And we'll say this jam is brought to you by Catoctin Creek Distilling Company, the first distillery in Loudoun County since before Prohibition. Check out their distilling workshops, the perfect gift for the Uber whiskey enthusiasts. Uber. Jill and Petra both out in packs. They race through, knocking everybody out of their way. Like Kendra is lead jammer, but Jill is right up on her. Kendra called it off, picking up three for York City, four. Four for Nova. And Kitty Whip and Surly Temper on the jammer line for this one. It is 
called off. Looks like four for York City, and I think that was two for Nova. Looks like we have a timeout. The refs are getting summoned up there. Got an official zebra party. And that will be brought to you by Allergies Getting You Down, doTERRA by Totally Essential, Essential Oils and Wellness Products, Natural Solutions to Get You Outside Again. I mean, that stuff really works. Like, is it really? Yeah, I, my fiance does essential oils with uh, uh -huh. doTERRA, and yeah. you wouldn't think that just putting... I mean, because it sounds like magic hooey. It, it, it actually sounds works. like it, but it works. I remember I was cool. sick, having a coughing fit. She came up with some weird essential oil thing and started applying it to my face and neck, and was I was done coughing. Well, that's nice. At least for a while. So that stuff is amazing. Cool. And Washington Workplace Full Service Commercial Furniture Dealership that can help you with all of your furniture needs. Office furniture. Office furniture. Not just any. Not the only one. Those fun chairs that you can get into and then use the fire extinguisher to push yourself around and have races. Um, cubicles that are make it really easy to make ports out of. Gosh, maybe I need a cubicle. You just need to work where I work. I mean, it sounds way more fun than where I work, where we have cubicles, but nobody makes ports with them. I mean, well, technically, I guess. Well, it's, I just, I'm the only one that makes the ports. Ah. And, that's, uh, that's not just like office culture where you are? Yeah, well, it's my office culture. It's, it's how I work in an office. And you have to know the password before you can give me any work. That's fair. And I just, suppose you tell them occasionally no, that no. poor kick-ass doesn't I, acknowledge their authority. Yeah, kind of like that. Uh, you know those passwords that change every five or six seconds? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. On those little yeah. Up. That's kind of what it is. So uh -huh. I tell them what it is at the beginning, but I just forget to tell them throughout the day. So I'm about to lose my job. <laughs> And uh, it's mainly the fourth thing. People say it's stop, but I'm not gonna. You can't tell me how to live my life, so that's it. We'd also like to thank our sponsor, uh, Maid Brigade, where it's not just about a clean home, it's about quality of life. Maid Brigade services the Northern Virginia area. And Q Athletics, located less than five miles from here, Q Athletics specializes in small group training for both adults and athletes. The first, <laughs> I like how we say adults and athletes, like those are definitely mutually exclusive groups. Yes. The first class is always free, and NRG participants, ladies, get, a, get discounted rates on memberships. And our newly licensed Bayou City Badass will be there to whip you into fighting form every Monday. Boom. Boom. So excited. I think we're done with the official timeout, getting ready to start back up with this jam. Yes, and we are starting with Nova's jammer in the box. Just Looks like that official review resulted in a jammer headed for the box. And just Kendra is the only one, so it looks like it's a power play. Power jam. Power jam for Yes. I'm a very big hockey fan, and I'm I sad the Caps lost. I was thinking that must be where that came from. Uh, which means Nova is on nothing but defense right now. Just Kendra yep. breaking out. Nova tries to get themselves together to form up a new defense. And Surly Temper is now out of the box and coming for the pack. Oh, just Kendra takes a little bit of a fall there. And Doris Meadway headed for the box. Get one out and put one back in. And Kendra calls it from the floor. She was surrounded, getting knocked around by a lot of blue. All right, looks like we've got Ice Tees and Reaping Beauty on the jammer line for this one.
Ooh, that was a nice lateral hit from Fox there. She and Wicked are pulling up their defense in the back while Ice T is comes around for another pass to the back. Ruby Beauty taking some pretty bad nice hits. Nice dodge by T's there. That was quite a tangle where T's got hit out into the other jammer. And it looks like we have no lead jammer, or I'm pretty sure somebody would have called it that Yeah, now. they would, would say so. If the defense on both sides has been incredible so far. Yeah, there, there's a whole lot of really good walls in here that are making it real hard for any jammers to go in there. They get and close a and then... slick hit from Fox there. Reaping Beauty just taking a pounding doing everything she can to break through the, the wall of blue. Oh, and it looks like she's finally managed to skirt it on the outside. And, oh, and one more hit from Fox. But Fox went out as well, which means that Ruby Beauty does not have to come back in behind her. And that's Jim. All right, we are currently sitting with your City 56, Nova 121, with 2141 left in this half. And we've got Jersey Gel and Kitty Whipped on the jammer line for this one. And this one's going to be brought to you by Buffalo Wing Factory and Pub, Craft Wings, Craft Beer, the iconic American tradition of enjoying great wings with great beer and being part of a community. Yeah, that's usually what happens with being an announcer. Something may happen, and we're and getting ready so to great, anticipate. And then, it's like, oh. and then it doesn't happen, and we go, no. We I can't. thought you were going to say, like, that's what happens in life. I mean, in general. <laughs> Don't get too excited about anything. It's probably illegal. <laughs> it looks like just Kendra and Fox are on the jammer line for this one. And we have our blockers not lining up on the jammer line this time. Yeah, moved up a Giving them a forward. little room to get a little running start there. And there goes York City's jammer. Just Kendra taking it out. Nope. Yes, that's just Kendra. Yes, and here comes Fox. She's got about half a track lead on her, so that's going to be right. Oh. Lots of two almost good hits there that just did not quite land. That's always the risk of taking a hit instead of attempting a positional block. Because if you screw it up, then you get nothing. Yeah, you get absolutely nothing. And that doesn't seem like many hits are starting to affect just Kendra. Well, that one from River Strong got her. And that one from Bob's. Still River and Bob's are just kind of bouncing her back and forth there. First one, then the other. Trying to buy some time for their jammer to be released, and there she is. And Fox is bouncing right around the outside of the pack and out. And they're calling it off right as Fox comes out of the box. As one does. <laughs> Words. <laughs> hey, what we really need at some point is Paradox and Fox in the box. I would not, could not. Oh, for this yes, season. that needs to happen. Yes. That's, a, that's our request for the skaters. Right. At some so point. if you guys could time out your penalties that way, we would really appreciate that. So <laughs> we need Paradox and Fox to get to the box. Just for announcer fun. Well, just Jill and 
Reaping Beauty. Reaping Beauty are high tailing it towards the pack. Reaping Beauty is their first. She's got a wall of blue trying to get through first though before she can be scoring any points. But there she goes. That was a tough wall. She made it through that one all right. And Jill is doing her best to do the same with some nice, nice moves there on the inside line. And, and then some Beauty. nice ones from Rick and Beauty on the outside. They no light work on that pack, making yeah, it super those, easy before those, calling it off. Those, those are some very skilled skaters there. I love seeing the fancy footwork. And it looks like we've got a timeout from Supernovas. That's right, timeout for Supernovas. I was kind of concerned when he walked in and started looking at the indoor We've got some upcoming events for you. Booty Camp is on June 11th. Come lace up some skates and try out your derby skills. No experience is required. No equipment is needed initially. You can borrow all the gear and try it out first. Also, no overall, your derby is always looking for referees and non-skating officials, no experience required. Please email referees at NovaRollerDerby.com if you are interested. And we are, we're currently recruiting women to play roller derby. If you have no derby experience or need to brush up on your skills, we have great essential skills program to teach you all the skills required to play. Please contact us at recruiting at NovaRollerDerby.com. Now, if you want to get a taste of what you'll have to do to be able to just play derby at all, Booty Camp is great. Yes. Uh, it'll teach you how to fall uh, so you can do some practicing on your own and get ready to come into essential skills like with your wheels underneath you a little bit. There you go. Because sometimes falling, there are certain ways that you need to fall. There are ways to fall and there are ways not to fall. There you go. There are ways to fall that put you on your pads and there are ways to fall that break parts of you in bad ways. And then you have to go to one of our sponsors. Right. Like has plastic surgery or something, or chiropractic. Kitty Whip having a hard time breaking through that wall of blue. Got River Strong sort of coordinating defense back there, just putting people where they need to be. Bob's is just is terrible at letting anybody get through. They will, she will not let it happen. Looks like one of the blockers for York City going to the sin bin. That's clutch. Clutch headed for box. And called off. That was some beautiful defensive work from Nova there. Fantastic work from both sides. All right, we've got Chris Kendra and Fox on the jammer line. 16.35 left in this half. And they are off. Just Kendra with a hit in the box. Just, just Kendra likes to hit off the line. I enjoy that. That's good stuff. Just get her out of the way. I was thinking this would be perfect for the shorts. That's, that's actually one of the things I like way better in the because you can almost never pull it off the line but you absolutely can't have it. Yeah, as I've only been doing with the... Oh! 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 There you go. You, you, you gotta be confident. You're either the wall or the wall breaking. Yep. That's a very solid wall of no matter there. Reaping Beauty trying to break through. And her team's trying to make her some space through there as Rick really Strong comes around the jamming them. River taking the hit to the outside. And that's a catch right ball on Ricky Beauty, which makes this a power jam for Nova. And River's so strong, just runs up the inside and calls it. So it looks like 
they very soon is going to be starting out without their jammer in this one. That's right. Nova is going to be starting on a power jam, which is not as good as we can get for a start. Sterling Timber on the jam line. I like the 
Oh, we're gonna create sound effect. Do the sound effect board. We're gonna just sit here and press buttons. Right. Oh, that's the terrible idea. We would idea. use it. Abs that's like we do right. have the mic. Yes, that's the privilege that we should not have. Yeah. I think that yeah. So it's a bad idea. We should, or just right. have somebody else do it. That's more responsible and adulty. Yeah. Yeah. Just head right, Jersey Jill. Bring it on the line. Bob's going in for a hit, knock out, just Kendra. And Jill is out, but Just Kendra is the jammer. Which means that Just Kendra can call it, even though Jill is the one in front. And then Kendra calling it from the floor. And Jill across the board on that one. No points for no matter. I, I have to say something. I'm obsessed with the music that we have played. They're great songs, all remixes, and covers. And it has been exciting. I'm good at it. I'm doing everything that's being played right now. Okay, Savage so Dragon trying to chase it down, but no dice. That is a uh, great beauty. Charity of the Month is part of our Charity of the Month Nova Roller Derby is proud to support different organizations in our community. This month, Nova Roller Derby is proud to be partnering with Paxton Campus. For 90 years, the historic Paxton Campus has been providing underprivileged families and children with a safe environment. Having previously served as a convalescent center, daycare, and an orphanage, the Paxton Campus will stop at nothing to provide opportunities for individuals of all ages and abilities to serve their community and become contributing members of society. Also, welcome special guests. We are very pleased to welcome members of the Befriend a Child Mentoring Program to, to today's bout. Research has shown that having just one positive adult in a child's life can make all the difference in whether they go on to be healthy, productive members of society. The Befriend a Child Mentoring Program matches adult volunteers with children between the ages of 5 and 12 who are in need of positive adult influences in their life. Please feel free to stop by the table and learn more about this wonderful program. And speaking of things you should stop by, you should stop by the after party. Yes. Which will be at Ashford Pub tonight. Where there are all kinds of tasty foods Ash in addition to wonderful drinks. And if you need the address, 4411 Ashburn Shopping Plaza, Ashburn, Virginia, 20147. 
That is over there in Ashburn Village, quite nearby Comic Logic. You can go by, get your comics, go get your beer. And then enjoy them both at the same time. Because why not? Who, yeah, that's, that's how life is supposed to go. I, I mean, really, there are many downsides to being an adult. Many. It's expensive Many. to exist. It's expensive. You have to be responsible for stuff. But well, on the other hand, if you want to drink beer and, and read comic books, that is an option that is open to you. You can do it. Nobody's going to tell you, you no. Because you have your grown-up money that you can go spend on that. Mom's going to call be like, what are you doing? You should be an adult. Be like, no, Mom, and hang up. And then apologize later for hanging up on your mom. But, you know, yeah, aside no. from that. Surly Temper and Kitty Whipped looking for their way through the pack. Surly's currently got the front, but she has a whole lot of competition for us. But she's out! There she goes! Nice job, Surly Temper. We've got uh, Jersey Jill and Bob still holding down Kitty Whip, joined by Luce Will Brawl, but Kitty Whip is out now. Kitty Whip. Surly Temper has hit the pack. Kitty Whip did dodge a lot of blockers trying to keep him from coming through, and it is called off. Yep, I was certainly calling it before anybody could score any points. Uh, looks like one was scored. Oh, oh, there was a point. There was a point scored for Supernova. Point, point happened. All right, yeah. we've got Fox and just Kendra on the jammer line. Off. Here they go. Fox getting shoved hard to the inside. Just Kendra almost and knocked out. That was, a, that was a call on Ice Keys going straight to the box. Just Kendra almost got knocked out, made a complete pass through the pack, through the inside without any problems, taking the lead jammer position. Fox is just now out of the pack. Just Kendra coming up fast behind her. City. York City at 100, Nova 178 with just 345 left in this half. Not much time left, which means this is often where things get extra exciting. More hits, it'll be a lot faster, people will be a bit more aggressive, the planning will be different, it's going to be amazing last half of the bout. Yep, these last few minutes are where people start doing crazy stuff. Absolutely. Because what do you have to lose? There you go. Bob's lead jammer, loose wheel, heading to the sin bin. Oh, and Bob's is down, but calling it from the floor. And that's another thing that you can do in Wednesday that you cannot do in May. Call, yeah, call it on the floor. You yes. have to be up and... In May, you have to be on your feet and inbound be able to call it. You uh, cannot call it from your knees, you cannot call it from out of bounds, none of that. But it was, uh, you can call it from over there in the bathroom if you want, as long as the ref can see you call it. All right, looks like we've got a timeout for Supernovas.
like we've got just Kendra and Ice T's jammers for this one. Just Kendra did some sweet lateral movement there and has skewed her way through the pack. I barely saw what happened. Oh, she was over here, and then she was over there, and then she was gone. That was it. That's basically amazing. Basically what happened. It was some slick skating. Don't mess with Just Kendra. Grace Beauty managing to put River Strong down, which is not easy, so like, good for her. That, that was exciting. I was I was hoping T's knew where her feet were there. Yeah. It's like, is she going to be able to come back in? I don't know what's happening. Oh, she's going down. down in her attempt to fall over. Just kept making another round. T's finally getting through. Looks like uh, just Kendra went down on the inside and having to come back in behind some Nova skaters. Just kicked her up the inside there. Moving slow, but things are happening. Thought about calling it off and decided to keep going. Kendra making another pass. River Strong still, still fighting for a way through. And just Kendra calling it off. All right, York City with 120, Nova 188 with Less than a minute in this half of the bout. I have to say, Nova managing this with just 11 skaters on their roster today, super impressive. It's very impressive. They're that means all going to be exhausted. They have two lineups. It's a, they've they've got to be completely exhausted. Official to score York City 123, Nova 192. I didn't realize, time got away from me. I didn't realize we were on the last jam there. It happened so quickly. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. 